Hey guys, it's SRC Reptiles, and I'm going to show you some little caterpillars that I have growing, or that are growing well. <laughs> I am definitely not growing these caterpillars, but I am obviously feeding them so they can grow. <laughs> that was worded funny. Anyway, these are banded tiger moth caterpillars. So I had a female banded tiger moth that a lady at work caught me. And I was going to put it in the kill jar for my collection, but I forgot about her for a day. So she sat in her container and I went to check on her and I'll put a photo in, but she laid a bunch of eggs. And so I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. So I let her pass away on her own and the container did have air holes. So you guys know, but I let her pass away on her own, so I made sure that she had laid all of her eggs. Usually female moths, once they lay eggs, will pass away shortly after. Usually that just takes a lot out of their body, so they don't really end up living very long afterwards. But um, the caterpillars have been doing really well. Some of them are huge, and it's funny because they may look like they're just sitting still right now because I just put fresh uh, dandelion greens in here. But um, these guys can run fast, like... They can move pretty quickly. That one right there that's moving that's right there, uh, that's like moderate speed. <laughs> These guys can move pretty quick. So they like uh, a lots of, lot of different types of plants that would be considered weeds. So dandelions was one of the ones that we had growing in my yard. Um, this is like a really large type um, that has like the huge dandelion flowers on them that get like the really big puff balls. I don't really know what they're called, but um, clover was another, but I'd have hardly any clover growing in my yard. So um, luckily there's a lot of dandelion greens. Some people said that they could eat maple leaves. I put maple leaves in there. They had no interest in them. Uh, they strangely enough really like butterfly bush leaves. So I've been giving those to them occasionally, but the butterfly bush, because we've had some frost, um, its leaves are starting to turn yellow. And the dandelion greens are still doing really well and staying green because they're against the house on a side that's protected. And also, it's a more hardy plant because it's a native weed, quote unquote. But um, there's probably a good 50 of them in here, if I had to guess. Um, not all of them are visible here. A lot of them are under the leaves. Some of them are on different parts of the butterfly house. But uh, I'll put on the screen how old they are. And when they start hatching, I'll put a photo on the screen as well of when they actually first hatched and some are a little bit older than the others because there was two batches of eggs that the female moth laid one batch was like two or three days before the other so some of them are going to be a little bit larger but I can't wait to watch them as they start to grow bigger and get their poof uh, puffball colors since obviously tiger moth caterpillars are known as woolly bears even though there are several different types and they look um, pretty different if I remember correctly each caterpillar is going to have a different pattern, even though it'll look similar to the other one. So, but anyway, guys, not a real long video. Just wanted to show you. It's not like they're being super duper active. Um, obviously, some of them are moving. You can kind of see how quickly that one's moving. That one's not even full speed. <laughs> but uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed getting to see these cute little caterpillars. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wish to see updates, um, just kind of keep an eye on my channel. I want to try and make an update maybe in another week or so when they've grown a little bit more. They kind of have been growing a little slowly, even though they've been getting fresh food two to three times a day. They eat a lot. Um, usually it doesn't eat. Usually they don't eat through the leaves that long or that quickly. But um, the leaves just dry out really fast. So that's why I have to constantly be getting them new leaves. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.